So Soul Frame is probably going to be one of the biggest MMORPGs to release whenever it does. Why I say that? Because Warframe, I wouldn't say it much has dominated over the past 10 years, but it definitely has some longevity and helped spark a new generation of MMOs for both PC and console. Will Soul Frame follow in that exact same footsteps and have that same longevity as Warframe? That will take some time to tell, but in today's video, I actually want to go over a little bit of the official cinematic trailer and talk about some of the things or key things we have learned from Digital Extreme's announcement of Soul Frame. So for one, the cinematic trailer for this trailer is literally got tier. Now, of course, we can't judge how good a game is will be due to its cinematic trailer, but it did look pretty beautiful. As we can tell by the trailer, there's not enough concrete gameplay, so we could definitely tell that this game is in earlier development. And we will have to wait for any new update, any rough builds just to see what the gameplay will look like which we'll talk about some of the gameplay that i've heard reports on that will be uh, releasing soon so one major thing that i took away from the actual trailer is that our player character has some type of connection to the sword and i feel like that weapon or whatever energy surrounding a weapon will play a major part in the game and will be Similar to like how in Warframe, how we have the Tenos and all of the little different uh, Tenos we can play as and how we're a part of that. Later in the trailer, we actually come across this wolf, which I either feel like will be a mount in some way, since this game is focusing more on exploration than a hub instant space world. Now, Soulframe doesn't feel like an exact sequel since it's a bit more fantasy based than being sci-fi in the Warframe world. And there's been reports saying that the world itself may follow a procedurally generated format as the world would change around us, whether you are currently online or offline. They're making the experiences like when you hop offline, that the world will be completely different by the time you sign back in. And it being a major ever changing world due to it being MMO, a lot of things can happen once you sign off. Following that same premise with the open world aspects, Soul Frame will have a hub that players can come to as the overworld. So almost similar to Warframes where you come to the ship and then you go to planet to planet, but a central hub that players can always come to and then you can explore off from there. Uh, currently right now there are no talks of what platforms will be, but uh, we can already have an assumption that a PC version will come first and then followed by console ports. Although it is unclear if it will arrive on both last gen and new gen consoles, seeing as its release date is well in the future, we'll be pretty surprised if the PS4 and Xbox One version was in development. This game might completely drop for a console as a PS5 or the brand new Xbox Series X and S and of course PC. Now, because Soul Frame is more of a sister to Warframe, the combat will be a bit much slower than its predecessor as well, really focusing on melee, but it being more slower and methodical. So you won't be hopping, running, jumping around, like how you do in Warframe, being like a, basically a space ninja. No, it will be a little bit more grounded and a little bit more slower paced battling. Of course, they don't want to share any concrete details. They said that it will not be like playing Dark Souls or Elden Ring. It will be their own type of style. Next major focus of Soul Frame would be the cooperative play, but there's actually no indication as to what that would be like since they're like they're focusing on that exploration. So co-op co would be one key thing they'll want to maintain. And last but not least of what I have is that Soul Frame will be technically a free to play title when it launches if it's following in Warframe's footsteps. That's it guys for Soul Frame's official cinematic trailer. It is definitely was a major big announcement that came out and surprised a lot of us. And a lot of people are actually pretty hyped for this and i am too let me know in the comment section how you guys feel about soul frame and how's your time period on warframe has been are you guys pumped for this new 
title by Digital Extremes, or if you're not, let me know. If you guys want to uh, actually watch one of my Warframe first impressions uh, on PC, I would definitely have it in the card uh, on the right. And if you want to check out any of my other RPGs that I've covered, look at the cards to the left. And as always, it's been your host, KSD TV, here at Chaotic Inc. Signing out. Peace. I, make a I don't sleep, that's so weak, don't plan to rest I'm from a hood where you die if you don't pack a vest No culinary degrees, but whipping crack the best Chefing, hard times taught lessons Praying every night to pull up and park benzes uh, What's my home is what you call trenches You wouldn't last a day seeing life through all lenses uh, It's all tension, no sun, it rain a plenty Full time job, still can never make a penny 